What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the pilot that I posted a couple days ago for this new series that I'm starting called Mindset. Because everybody deals with demons, everybody deals with negativity, everybody deals with hard times and depression and anxiety and sadness and some kind of form of negative energy in their life. Everybody has to deal with it. It's always an inner battle. You always hear it. It's me versus me and no one else. I have to battle my demons every single day. I deal with depression and anxiety. I deal with my self image and doubting myself every single day. But watching videos on motivation and listening to people like Gary Vee and any other YouTubers that I watch that are positive and motivating, I want to do the same thing. I want to give back and do the same and help others the same way those YouTubers help me. So this is going to be a little bit of a creative thing. Everybody watching this, I'm going to need your guys' support and I'm going to need your guys' help. Every single week we're going to talk about a different word, right? So the last couple of vlogs have been perspective and change. And this one is going to be about mindset and about keeping it and maintaining it. And then however long this series goes on for, I want you guys to pick the words. So drop a word that has to do with positivity, motivation, or something inspiring down below. And we're going to talk about it in a video sometime soon. I'm going to have other vlogs mixed in here and there, but at least once a week we're going to be having this mindset series posted on the YouTube channel, so please stay tuned for that. Please show some love and share it and spread the positivity and light to other people. So like I said, today we are going to talk about mindset. A mindset is what can keep you driven. A mindset is what can keep you in your bed all day. A mindset can help you succeed and a mindset can help you fail. A mindset can help you live and a mindset can kill you. There's so much depression and anxiety in the world that people feel the need to commit suicide. I've had friends and people that I know commit suicide and take their life because they didn't feel like their life was worth living. I know plenty of celebrities that have done the same thing. I know plenty of people who know people that have family members that have done the same thing. They say when you surround yourself with positivity, you're going to give out positivity. What you take in, you're going to put out. So if you take in all of that negativity people give you, the people who doubt you, the people who tell you that you'll be nothing, the people that tell you that you'll get nowhere, the people that tell you that you are worthless and tell people that you're a waste of time, if you take that in and you actually listen to it and, and fill your mind with those thoughts and actually contemplate whether or not they're right, that's just absurd. Because everybody, if you're here breathing, you have a purpose here, right? You may not know what your purpose is. You may not know what you're good at and what you're here to do on this earth, but you have a purpose. I'm gonna ask you guys a couple questions and feel free to comment down below or just answer them to yourself. The first question, what are you passionate about? Really think about that. The things that make you happy, the thing that you think about it and it really brings up some joy and you're excited to go do it no matter what day it is, no matter what time it is, no matter what it is, if you think about it, you can talk all day about it, you're willing to jump up and go and do it. The thing that just drives you, the thing that you just love to do, what is that? Okay, number two, how much time do you spend doing that thing? Another question, on the opposite end, do you not do it as much because of excuses like time and money and your schedule? and the opportunities to actually go and do that. Let me tell you one thing. If you take a little bit of time out of every single day to follow that passion and go do it, you're gonna live a much more happier life and have a more positive mindset because you're doing something you love doing. If you're scared of doing something that you love doing because other people's opinions, fuck other people's opinions. Go and do what makes you happy. The people that are in your corner, the people that will support you, those are the people that matter. Those are the people whose opinions that you value. I have plenty of those people whose opinions that I value. And then there's other people that I've cut out of my life that all they do is hate and be negative and tell me, oh, you shouldn't do this. It's a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of money, da, da, da. Look, life is short. Life is very short, especially people my age. Like I'm, I'm young, so I have plenty of years to live. But if you're older watching this, if you're younger, it does not matter what age you are, you could die tomorrow. I could leave here and I could die. It's just a fact of life. You don't know when you're going to leave. I know I talked about this a couple of vlogs ago, but something that Gary Vee said has really stuck with me when it comes to chasing my goals and my dreams and remembering what I am doing and keeping that mindset is that on Monday mornings, why do people complain about their crap job? Why do people complain about not having enough time or having to get up and go to work and having to get up and do this or that and having the Monday blues and yada yada? Fuck that. I get up in the morning, tell yourself who the hell you are, go out and chase your dreams, do something different that day, go out and do something that you're afraid of, go make a change. 
take a chance because like I said, life is short, you guys. You could be 60 years down the line and regret not doing something today because you didn't take a chance and take an opportunity and you're miserable the rest of your life because you're just going with the flow of life. You don't have the time or money, so you're just gonna keep going on with the flow. But in reality, you really don't have time left. You have to live like today is your last day. Like today is going to be your last Monday or whatever day you're watching this, it's gonna be your last day. Live your day like it's the last. What are you gonna go out with? What legacy are you gonna leave? What, what mark are you gonna leave on people? What are people gonna say about you when you're in the grave? All those people that doubted you and told you that you're not going to accomplish what your dreams are and your goals are, if you don't do those and you die tomorrow or you don't attempt them and go chase them and you die tomorrow, you're letting those haters win. You're not leaving a legacy that's gonna be good. And the people that are supporting you and encouraging you and pushing you to do better. If you die tomorrow without chasing your dreams, those people are just gonna say, I wish that he did this. I wish that she did that. I wish they would have went and did that. Remember this phrase this week, guys. Life is short, so get up and go do shit. Plain and simple. Sacrifice an hour of watching TV when you get home and go play your music or take your pictures or go to the gym or do the art or do whatever that motivates you and drives you. Spend an hour a day doing that, a half hour a day. Spend some kind of time during the day doing what you love doing. Sacrifice an hour of sleep, an hour of watching TV, maybe an hour of your own time just sitting there on your phone on your social media. Just sacrifice that time, you guys, and go do what you love. And anything that you do in life does not matter the situation. Keeping a positive mindset is what is most important. A good friend named Remington James used to say, there is no such thing as a bad situation. Just a bad mindset about a said situation. So just remember, any bad situation that comes around, no matter how dark your world is, how dark your mind is, how dark the people around you are, in every dark situation, find that little bit of light and let that be the light that guides your way. Because in a dark sky, no matter how dark it is, there's always at least one star. And that's always the North Star. And what do people use that for? They use it to guide them north, to guide them in the way that they're supposed to go, to use it as a beacon to guide them. So when your world is dark, use that little bit of positivity in every situation and find it and let that guide you to where you need to be. So with that, guys, just remember, no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow is a brand new day. The choice is yours. Go out and be more. Until the next video, you guys, peace.